everybody, this is Praxis and Josh, myself and River are back on site today. It's a beautiful day. Uh, it's pretty warm compared to what it's been like. The sun's out, there's absolutely no wind. It'd be a perfect day for doing roofing, except we can't because a critical member of my helper crew isn't here today. My dad, he got injured. Uh, he tore something in his foot, he thinks, and he's at the doctor today. And uh, he, you know, he's not the kind of guy that goes running to the doctor for every little thing. There are probably lots of things that he should have gone to the doctor for in the past where he's kind of like, oh, that's no big deal. I'll just pull it out or whatever. Um, so, you know, I got to think he's He's pretty injured. Uh, he, again, it's, he thinks maybe like a torn ligament or, or something in his foot. If you guys have ever gone through that yourself or you just want to re, uh, leave him some words of encouragement, I, do, I know that he does watch his videos. He does read the comments. So if you want to leave a message for my dad, who you guys have seen in several of the videos, comments below, you guys can do that. But even though, uh, you know, we're working on that today, uh, uh, Josh and I are working on the floor. Because the important things right now are roof, windows, and floor pretty much in that order, um, and the windows aren't here, and I prefer to hold off on the roof until my dad's here, because he's just, like I said before, very meticulous, you know, he's a great person uh, to be around for the start, uh, but we're working on the, the floor today. In the past 48 hours, we've seen a lot of, uh, a lot of development in here. Now, Josh, just finished up today, shoveling in 23 tons, literally 23.6 tons of all this gravel material. It's all in here. He's been compacting it. You can hear him right now doing it. Uh, he's been getting it all level in here, compacted around all these vents. And I've started working on the, the final edge here because we're going to have uh, concrete fill this area. We're going to have about six inches of concrete in here. I went with six inches instead of four just because I want it to be a little bit stronger. You know, even though we're doing a lot of compaction in here, uh, you know, having a stronger slab is going to resist cracking, uh, you know, because there's just so much material we brought in here to fill in. So I'm doing that, but conventionally it'd be about four inches, but we're going for six. The final grade is going to be right on top of this board here, and these boards are being set on top of the sill plate, which was put uh, bolted down, you guys remember, right on top of the footing itself. And here's a board that I've been working on uh, that's uh, you know, going in line with these guys. And what I'm doing is I'm pulling out these little notches and turning it into this, and it just runs right along the bottom, and I'm notching it out around all the posts. This is the next one that goes down there. So we're focusing on doing that. You know, there's still plenty to do. I'm really anxious to get that roof on because it, uh, water still gets in here a little bit you know, because uh, water is going up on the, the foam surface. It's running down the uh, top of that, then coming down kind of the face of the wall. It is still getting in here. I really want to get that roof on. But again, my dad's such a valuable mem member of the team and such a great person to have on on hand, especially at the beginning of something like that, I think it's, it's worth kind of hanging off uh, or holding off and seeing just kind of how things go with him. Um, and at the moment, you know, the weather for the next week or so looks tolerable, although today was a really awesome day. That's it. Thanks for watching.